Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. I know, I know, I promised I'd quit, but I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obed Morton and the Epcanis writing tablets. Does that ring any bells? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Carmi. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. Then the professor. Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Miss Sedrak? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abcanis Stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that? The controls are dead! We have to jump! Thank <laughs> you. 